lavender to help teach people how to take back their, their space and, and to treat it differently and to make Brooklyn a, a nicer place to live. Before I moved to New York, I worked for the Department of Agriculture for four years. <laughs> Um, and I worked as, as a, um, I was a student, I would have a degree in biology and chemistry and I worked in genetic engineering and my job was to make GMOs. So my mission when opening the store, I love plants, I love flowers, but I also love people too. So I have sort of a political, political mission here. These pots here, um, they're very pretty. They come in a lot of different colors, but they're made out of uh, rice. Hmm. So, you know, this answers the, one of the questions. Is it is it functional, does it work, and is it good for our environment? And the answer is yes to all three. And that's, you know, the, anything that I have in my shop needs to answer to the, that criteria. You know, whenever possible, we source materials very close to where we are. Um, the soil that we carry. This is a organic soil that okay. is a core-based soil. Mm -hmm. It's made by a company called Organic Mechanic, uh, and it's manufactured about 70 miles from here. The company who makes it, they use biodiesel in their trucks. They use recycled material in their packaging, and they only use organic components and sustainable components in their soil. So it's peat-free soil, and it and it works very very well. It's a great soil. A lot of the seed that we use is seed that's been saved and seed of plants that have been grown here in Brooklyn, in huh. New York. So those plants are really strong and they're adapted to this environment. You know, it's like if you go to Mexico and drink the water, it makes you sick. It's the same thing for a plant if it's grown, you know, if you buy a seed that's from California and you grow it here on the East Coast, that particular plant might not be adapted to the pathogens that are in our soil the pathogens that are in our air and it might not survive as well here as it does in Los Angeles. It's definitely a trend that people are becoming more aware of their environment. Um, it's also a trend where people want to feel empowered about things and not be such consumers. Um, and there's a huge trend in, in the United States with people doing crafts. I'm experimenting with different kinds of soils here. I think once you're a scientist, you're always a scientist. This garden here, it has a variety of corn that I found in the supermarket. That's a South American variety. Uh -huh. And it was, it was sold as dried corn. So I bought a bag and planted it to see if I could grow it here. And it's not something that I've seen available as a commercial seed. So it's growing. Um, now we have it, I guess. 